Do 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 the boss show. Hello and welcome to the boss show. This is a show exclusively for you to let you know what we've been doing in the studio, what we're doing right now, what we're gonna do in the studio, and to show you this. This is a tiny bird that I found when I was on my vacation and I was going into a convenience store because my eyes were like, why is this a day ball? It's so damn bleh. And I went in to find sunglasses and but there was no sunglasses, but there was a thing that was staring at me and it, it looked it looked a lot like this. Buy me! Why don't you buy me? So I said, okay, I will buy you. And I went to, I brought him to the counter and I went, and, he, and I bought him and I left. And then another 10 minutes down the road, I realized I, did, I didn't buy sunglasses. You made me forget, you little bitch. It has been a couple of months since I've done a boss show and, but, 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 but they're good. There's a good reason for that. Let me explain. Lucy explain. I can't, I'm gonna explain. Some of you may know about this and some of you may not. Um, I actually, uh, when I put out my last uh, rant, I, I made a rant and I made a reality check and I was really happy about that. And then I put out the rant and I was really excited because I was gonna release it on you know the next day and I released it and I got up because I wanted to see the reactions, you know? I, when I sit there and go, go get a blanket, it's blocked up, up, up. I want to see what you guys think about it. I, I don't know why. So I got up to look at the reactions to the rant that I'd uh, released, and uh, at the same time, uh, my family started messaging me, telling me that my sister that morning had fallen over dead. And I, I know that, I know I'm kind of coming at it with a lighthearted sort of attitude, but I think that's what she would want. But it is not a joke. My uh, sister literally had a massive heart attack and literally fell over dead at the age of 45. Now, <laughs> you guys uh, can imagine that that threw me off a little bit. I honestly, I had, I had just set up and I had expected, okay, I'm gonna get in the habit of doing rants again and reality checks again, and I'm gonna get this going, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome. I had my mindset for it, and then this happened, and uh, that, you have a death in the family like that, it will throw off your timing, and it'll kind of make you forget about everything else, except for that, for a little while. There are you know, funerals, you have to help out your family members, you have to try and comfort people, it was, um, and uh, while I'm, you know, I'm not gonna blame my sister, even though I should, that did throw my timing off a bit. And uh, it, it, I wanted to say that's one of the reasons that there were no boss show that month. I, I was literally supposed to make the boss show the week that she died and uh, she died and I, I couldn't, it just left my brain. I couldn't even think about doing stuff like that at that time. And then right about the time that things started smoothing down from that, I <laughs> had planned to go on vacation. So I went on vacation, I came back, and uh, that's why there wasn't a boss show last month. That's also why there hasn't been any more rants and any more uh, reality checks since then. Um, so that that basically catches you up from the last two months of what's happened here. Uh, I have stayed on, you know, the regular videos have been updated and, or uploaded and um, been doing new things here and there, but I, I just, I kind of got sidetracked from uh, keeping up with doing some new things until about now. So I hope you guys liked that rant. I hope you liked the reality check. I wanna let you know that those are going to continue. I just, one thing that you have to do when you're uh, getting the mode for doing this kind of thing is you have to get your brain in the habit. You have to write things, you have to study things, you have to look at things in a certain way and you have to, you have to study, you have to look at its face and then if it has boobs and then you have to study its junk. You, you must look over the whole thing all the time and then write down notes about it. And, and then you can speak. You can't speak until you've seen it's junk. That's a fact. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going to get back in the habit of uh, thinking in rant terms and uh, thinking about things that I can do for reality check. Those are going to continue on. I'm going to pick those back up. Uh, how are you guys liking the new Redwall series? If you haven't watched it, there's this new series. It was based on a book, an old book series called uh, Redwall, uh, The Legends of Redwall. And then it's a game now and I'm playing a cute little mouse and I'm going on little tiny adventures. Yeehaw, doo -doo -doo, because they can't be big ones because he's tiny. I could squash him. My foot would be a big adventure for that little bitch. So we're doing that right now. It's honestly, it's charming so far. It's a, it's a charming little series. I, I hope you guys enjoy it. I want to say that we're going to change a few things about the channel. Well, actually we're not changing them. We're just, we're keeping them the same. It's just that 
while it's a variety channel, we do a lot of games on the channel. You guys know that. And for the longest time, we've done all kinds of games on the channel. You guys know that. And we usually have a series of AAA games going and some indie games going at the same time. You guys know that. Well, I'm going to officially change it. As far as the games go on the channel, I'm going to consider the channel from now on to be an indie games channel. As far as the games go, indie games. Why am I doing that? I'll tell you guys, because most of you guys are gamers out there. You know right now that um, commercial games, AAA games, they're, they're shit. I mean, they just are, they're good. The, the commercial games have turned, AAA games have turned into crap lately. And most of the games that you see me playing anyway are indie games. All of the original ideas, all the best games, and also some of the crappiest games also, are coming from the indie scene. And it just, I used to always have this kind of pattern in my head for what I wanted. I wanted at least, you know, a AAA game playing and some indie games at the same time. But uh, lately, uh, when I say that it's gonna become an indie channel, that doesn't mean that I'm never gonna play AAA games. It just means that I'm not going to you know, force there to be a triple A game on the channel all the time. I used to do that. I mean, that was part of the programming is that there's always a triple A game along with other indie games. I'm gonna leave that alone now because sometimes, especially lately, there just aren't any good triple A games. And then there, there's this explosion of, of indie games everywhere that I can play all the time. So from now on, I'm not going to reserve a spot for any kind of triple A game. I'm just gonna play games. If a AAA game pops out and it's good, then I'll play it. But I'm not gonna say, no, nah, I'm saving Tuesday and Thursdays just for AAA. I'm not doing that no more, all right? The game industry has pissed me off and now it will suffer my wrath. Then I know some of you are out there going, well, what about Helldivers? Helldivers, huh? Helldivers 2, what about? Look again, Helldivers 2, indie game. It is, it's an indie game. I'm, I'm having trouble finding where there's a good triple a game from a major studio lately so from now on i'm not going to reserve a spot for triple a games anymore i'm just going to play games i'm going to play the good games just the good ones it doesn't matter how much they cost doesn't matter who released them is it good yes then i'll play it now right now in the studio i really have one uh major thing that i want to do and i'm i've convinced myself i'm going to do this i have to set my editor up to be able to make monday shows again i want to bring those back all I have to do, I, I, it's probably going to take me about a day of work, a day of jerking and slinging and jacking around my editor, which it loves so much, and actually getting the thing in shape where I can take the videos and put it in and I can do Monday shows again. That's one of my priorities right now. That and getting back in the habit of doing rants and um, reality checks. That's what I'm doing right now, along with, you know, the usual, the series is and the Indie Wendy's and the, and the Free Fridays. I hope you guys have been enjoying those too. And since I am just back from vacation, I don't, I don't want to go on vacation again. I don't, I'll be honest. I don't know if I really enjoyed my vacation. And the reason why is because I, have you ever had something that gave you that reaction? It's kind of yes and no at the same time. And it's sort of like, while, it, while the vacation was resting physically, it was physically resting, I found myself the whole time being emotionally and mentally worried, distracted, um, terrified. I, I just, the whole time I was, I was mentally worried about everything. I was worried about my channel. I was worried about my patrons. Uh, I was worried that I was going to do that. <laughs> I was worried about you guys. I was worried about a lot of things just in my brain, so... Well, it, physically, it was great. I could like wake up and watch TV for two hours and then go back to sleep. That was nice. But constantly I was mentally strained the whole time. And it was mainly because I wanted to get back to work. So I, I <laughs> no vacations for me for a little while. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay at work for a bit. However, uh, vacation was interesting. Uh, here is a little bit of what we did. Hey there, how's it going? Well, here I am in my studio as always. This is my usual studio that I usually do everything in. Okay, I lied. We're actually in Kansas right now. Um, we're going to go and the Aztecs and the Mayans keep saying that the, the sun's going to be eaten by a monster and um, that we're all gonna die. So we're on our way to Arkansas to visit uh, my family 
in the first place, and second of all, to see a monster eat the sun. Um, which it, it won't happen. Of course, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to, I'm going down there to film it for you guys so that we can then laugh at the Aztecs because they're stupid. So, um, I'll see you down there and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you filled in. Yeah, it's, there it is. It's doing the thing. So we are standing out here and, uh, solar eclipse. It's coming. They, some people have this uh, real, really weird, strange idea that the moon is going to go over the sun <laughs> and just block it out. Now, I don't believe it, but I'm going to be here to test this because I don't think it's real. I don't think it's going to happen at all. It is, um, what, a little after 1 p.m., right? And you're here with your mother. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm here with my mother. Oh, 57. Uh, about 57. What does that mean? 12.57. 12.57. Sorry. But yeah, we're gonna we'll see what happens. I don't think anything is gonna happen. No. See, this is the stylish thing now. Everybody's, all, all the old people wearing this. What? what? These, the glasses. Oh yeah. It's your fault. I'll get the squirt bottle after you. <laughs> I say, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but I have noticed it is getting a little bit it's darker. weirder looking. It's getting a little darker out here, yeah. Where'd you go? All right, so tell me all about the locusts. I did not know about the locusts. I want to know about the locusts. First of all, we got, you know, the sun is supposed to be going <laughs> down now, says the Aztecs and the Mayans and all those old crazy people. And, and now you're saying locusts. What, how else is the world going to end this year, Mom? Well, there's already been earthquakes. That's true. And now the 13 and 17 year locusts are going to hatch at the same time, so it's going to be very musical for a while. So it's going to be dark, musical, and earthquakey. And uh, I also heard that there were going to be human sacrifices when the eclipse happens. Sure, I knew that. I knew it. That's why I invited you here. Hey. <laughs> right. It looks like the Mayans were on to something. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that's crazy. You know, it, it, almost, it, it almost looks like I've put a, a filter over after uh, when I edit it. It almost looks like I put some kind of filter on it, but I haven't. It's, um, it's uh, one, what time is it? What? It's 1.41 p.m. right now, and this is, this is what it looks like, and there's no clouds in the sky either. It's just this is how bright the sun is, which means it's not really bright right now. Um, <laughs> the Aztecs were right. They were correct. We're, it's, everybody's going to die. We know oh, it. What happened? Why is it getting... What happened? Oh, I looked up there. Yeah, don't look at the sun. <laughs> I thought it was uncovered already. All right, so this is about as much totality as we're going to get. Uh, out of this right now, but you can you can hear the birds. The birds are they're singing because they want to go to bed because it's real dark out here. Uh, and um, I'm not hearing any crickets. You might actually hear that here in a little bit, but uh, yeah, it is really dark out here. It's uh, I, my camera's kind of trying to make up for it, but um, it's. As I was just telling uh, my friend over there, it's, it's something weird because it's th the level of light right now, it's it's like a really dim sun or a really bright moon. And you never see this level of light just come from the sky, which is really odd. I like it. Aztecs are right, we're all gonna die. So here I am and I'm, I'm, I'm the uh, totality just passed overhead and I'm sitting in a house and it's, 1.55 or 6 p.m. Yeah. And this is, it's dark in here. It's really dark. That was pretty cool. That was pretty neat. And I just, I've been attacked by a cat. <laughs> the cat has attacked my face. Uh, cat, are you, you're one of the Aztecs. Uh, so um, here it is, it is a uh, Thursday, it's Thursday, right? It is Friday. It's Friday. Sorry. It's, here it is Friday. Uh, we are on our way back to Colorado, to the studio where I can get back to uh, work for all you guys. And it, apparently, 
the Aztecs were correct. We did not know this. It has been confirmed that a monster can come along and eat the sun. Apparently it then poops it back out though. That, and this is a good thing. We, we need that because I just ate it and it was gone. And well, I'd be sitting here in the dark still. But um, we, we have learned that uh, Aztecs, Mayans, whichever one it was, they were, uh, they were right about that. We're going to continue to explore the Aztecs and the Mayans, mainly Aztec and Mayan art, such as this. This is Mayan art. It is called What Bart Left. Uh, we're going to study what this is, which piece of their anatomy this represents in the future. So we now know that the Aztecs and the Mayans were correct. I, I had no idea. I thought the idea that something would come along and eat the sun was just bullshit, but apparently it wasn't because it happened right in front of my eyes. Yo, that was also my mother. And by the way, she is uh, 73 years old and she was running circles around us. We got tired just watching her. She managed to sit down one time for 10 minutes. That, that was the longest she could sit down. She got right back up. Uh, I, I'm, God, I, I need to get in better shape, but until then, I have another magic trick to show you. Watch this. Mm. Now, you may have thought that I just did that. You may have thought I put a dent in there, but I didn't do it. You know what did? Patreon.com slash Ranting Griffin. That's what did that. And if you guys actually appreciate the work that I do on this channel, then go over there, give me a few bucks. I don't do anything fancy with that stuff. I go out and I get food with it and I pay for my internet. That's why I'm sitting here in front of you is because I got patrons and they sent me money and I went, oh good, internet, boom. And here I am. So if you don't like me, go gripe with them. It's not my fault. Now, as for the future in the studio, I, I think I already done did that. I pretty much already said what I was gonna do. I, I'm going to get back in the habit of uh, ranting, of reality checks. I gotta, Keep my eye on the news, at least the news that just doesn't piss me and everybody else in the world off. Because I want to make those, I want to make rants again, I want to get it down to where I'm making at least a couple of uh, reality checks every month and at least one rant every month. That's what I want. And I'm going to get myself into that. The uh, show, the Monday shows, uh, two bits, Th those will be coming back soon. I miss doing those and I know you guys miss watching them. Uh, I need to get those going. Now, between those three things, that's gonna be enough for me for the future for a while. I need to get those down. I need to get that going. I need to just crank it up. I need to step on it like a motorcycle so it goes blah, 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 blah. And if it, does, it doesn't work, then I'll pump it up blah, 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 until his tits go woo. And I can go, all right, that's what I want. I want I want programming with big tits. That's, I mean, don't we all? So as soon as I can get that going, then we'll start talking about other things. I mean, as far as like maybe the, I don't want to say distant. I don't like that word, distant, distant, distant. I don't like it, that's not a good word. But a little farther off in the future, I want to try to start uh, making a food show, some kind of maybe cooking or food show. A lot of you guys have asked for that. That's gonna be later. And uh, if I can get my music equipment out, which I've been trying to do, if I can get that out and get that set up, I'm gonna start doing things like giving guitar lessons and music lessons and things like that, but that's a little off down that way. We're gonna see that coming up a little bit later for now. That's what we're doing in the studio. I hope you enjoy what we're doing right now and this is what we got coming up and I hope you guys are there for that. Love you guys. Thank you all for watching me. Thank you all for just chilling out with me. I, I it really, I like it when I'm like up here in the middle of the night usually recording for you guys because I, you guys talk with me and I talk back with you and I know that you're there and I know that you're watching and it really feels like a little family. I love it. And also thank you very much to the patrons who are watching me right now. And um, guys, couldn't do this without you. I love you very much. Uh, how, and I'm also sorry for missing a couple of boss shows. Try not to let that happen again. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again very, very soon.